Hello, so we are going to make one of our favorite pies. It's a lemon pie, and it's actually adapted from, this recipe is adapted from the Magnolia Table Volume 1 cookbook. But I do it for busy people that don't like measuring things. So, I thought, oh, you're making lemon pie instead. Uh, it's not three hours. No, it has not been three hours. Our bread dough is not ready. Mom, so, it's still hot. Yes, it's hot. I melted a stick of butter here in this bowl. And now we're adding graham cracker crumbs to make our pie crust. Yeah, awesome. Dump it. No, dump it. Dump it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're only gonna have enough for one pie. Bummer. Mm -hmm. Okay, dump it. One pie. I normally when you dump all the I just. Lux, do we have graham crackers in there? We could have graham crackers. We can crush graham crackers. Not that you can. Get I know. Okay, great. Twenty-seven of them in the gallon bag and crush them. Twenty-seven. Okay, now I'm just fluffing it with the fork. <clears throat> Mom, okay. that's going to be yummy. It's going to be yummy. That when you look here, it's going to be yummy. And when you get all that out, it's going to be yummy. on the bone, it's going to disappear. Look. There's some more butter on the bottom. It's magic. That's magic. It's magic. magic. Cooking magic, huh? Oh, yeah, I was 24, Mom. That'll do. Wait. Just do two packages of them in the in a zip in a gallon. Gallon ziploc bags then. Mm. That's a quart size. You do the bigger one. This? Yep. yep. That'll do. Mom, there's only steak in every pack. Hold this. I always eat some. All right, what do I do now? Zip it closing. No, you have to take none of the packaging. Oh, I'm goofball. I purposely do that. And I'm just lightly spraying the pans. Don't make it taste bad, Molly. Okay, I'm going to taste bad, Mom. You're only going to be 18 more packs. I'm going to be so Mom, but make it taste well for me. Don't make it taste bad for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then I will not eat it that much. Nope. I will eat it, but not that much. Okay, I got a little carried away with my spray. Now we're dumping it in there. Some of it, I reserved some because I like to pack. Do I now get no, some? you don't get any yet. I like to pack my sides first and then build my way down when I'm making the graham cracker crust. Oh, Jay. I'm going to you, but I like to do the crust stuff. You're going to break a hole in the bag. Would you like the rolling pin so you can yeah. roll it out? Would you like the rolling pin? Yeah. It's right here. Okay. Be gentle with it. You're acting like a wrecking bull. Well, it was born next to a wrecking ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you that every day. Okay, so I'm just pressing this in. Can I have some now? No. <laughs> so I did the sides first. Now I'm going to fill in the bottom. Okay. 
was beating it. I could have done that. Okay, and now it's going to go into a 375 oven for 8 to 10 minutes. And that'll be it until we put the filling in. I'm going to back up the filler for the pie, lemon pie, is two cans of sweetened condensed milk, the juice of three lemons, a pinch of salt, and three egg yolks. So I use the juice of three and a half lemons because one of my lemons was partially rotted. Also, if you have a lemon tree and you're growing ponderosa lemons, those are the big, ugly ones. We call them dinosaur eggs around here. But they, I don't think I have, no, I don't have any up there. They um, are very, very tart. So do one of those and then two store-bought or two Myers lemons along with it. Works to your benefit. You didn't have to wash me juice all those lemons. Okay. And now, this is going in here. What do you do with the egg whites if you want to use egg yolks? Well, it's kind of went down the drain. But normally when Greg's going to save them for Greg. I don't make meringue with a lot of them. Not often. I, was just I just add them to eggs. But no one's been here to eat eggs lately. Yeah, nobody's been eating them but me. So could you put a meringue on that lemon pie or no? Sure. Yep, you can do a meringue. I prefer whipped cream because it's lighter. I'm not really a meringue I'm just, person, but I don't see why not. So you, it goes in the fridge. So after I bake it, it'll sit and cool for 30 minutes and then go in the fridge for 30 minutes. So at any point you could add meringue. So I was just trying to figure out, do you put the meringue on what now or after? I would do now because this only cooks for 12 minutes. Okay. So if you were doing a meringue, you would put it on when it's going in the oven or put it on after and torch it if you have a blowtorch. I don't have a blowtorch. Okay. 375 for 12 minutes. That's pretty generous. Okay. There we go. We'll make the second one.